What's up YouTube? In this video I will teach you the best settings in OBS that will reduce lag and you will still have the best quality when you're recording. So yeah, these settings will be best for new YouTubers that are trying to become big in the future. So yeah guys, I'm not going to talk that much, let's just start with the video. So yeah, once you are on OBS, so yeah, you have to download it. So yeah, if you have it downloaded, or you can just search up how to download OBS. It's pretty simple. Just search OBS download, and you should come up on like tab Google first thing hopefully. So yeah, now what you would need to do is click settings. So yeah, once the setting things open up. So I am using OBS to record. So yeah, now leave your general as it is. Do not change anything because it is like good so yeah leave the theme as dark it's probably the easiest and helpful now we're going to come to stream later click output so you had one two three four five six seven you will have seven different settings in obs so now what you will do is click output now from simple change it to advanced by clicking this because i can't click it because i'm recording it but click this so click the output mode and from simple change it to advanced now come to recording so yeah once you're on recording Put your type as standard because standard's like the best recording uh, mode. Now, in recording path, change your path to whatever's uh, you whatever you want it to get saved as. So I want it to save as or save on videos because videos is easy and the most easiest way to get your videos. Now, next thing, put your recording format as MP4. So it's gonna put your recording format to different. So you have to put it on MP4 because if it's on different, it will not like record as a video or record as a different format so yeah now once you're here now you would want to click audio track one so yeah audio track two three four if you have a different audio track you can click it change it to whatever you have so yeah click it on audio track one now what you want to do here is put your encoder encoder as nvidia h venk the newest version because this is the best recording mode and probably the best quality because it's new and plus it's really good now your rescale output on 1922 x to 1080 now that is the size of the whole screen so yeah my monitor is 1920 to 1080 so yeah, you want to record it as best all of the size of your thing so yeah hopefully it comes as how it is so yeah it should uh, put the output as or you could click rescale output i believe and it should like put it to your main uh size of your display or capture now what next you need to do is put your rate control from uh cbr to uh vbr now once you're here you will put your bitrate now your bitrate is how good the quality of your video is so yeah now what you would do here is put it on 10,000 10,000 is really good you can keep it as 20,000 it's also good and put your max bitrate to 20,000 that is also perfect so just like that 10,000 to 20,000 as your max bit trick of 20,000 and your bit trick on 10,000 so I'm gonna keep it as of what it was because that was good for me whatever suits you keep changing your bit trick and changing your max to whatever you want so yeah I'm gonna keep it to 20,000 to 40,000 now your keyframe interval to zero seconds so how quick does it take to record so yeah you want it to be on the best uh fast easy recording so as soon as you click recording it would record now your preset you want to put on quality so yeah that will be how good your video quality is and how good your gameplay is so yeah if your gameplay is like really laggy you would put it on quality if you put it on performance or max quality that will make your uh videos really good quality but whenever you're game playing it will be really hard meaning the recording would be really laggy and bad so set it as quality now profile as high and that's probably it so yeah your gpu at gpu at zero it could go to one two but as zero okay keep it at zero okay now your max b frames i don't really know what this is but just keep it as two or whatever it has set your b frames at now next thing you would go to video and come here now base canvas resolution and output scale resolution now when you're recording if it's at uh, when you're streaming if you're at 720 your recording would hopefully go smoothly so i can't change it so i set it at 720 to show you that this is the best quality for you so yeah keep it at 1280 and 720 and your aspect ratio at 16 to 9 that will set it as automatically and if it like changes your size of this you can 
set it back to normal by just like zooming it out and that and your downscale factor filter i mean downscale filter as lancos lanxos sharpen scaling 36 sample this was different so i did change this so yeah you have to keep it as lanxos I don't know how to pronounce this, but sharpen scaling 36 samples. Now your common FPS value, whatever your FPS is, keep it to that. So 60 is the best for you all because that would be the best quality for you. How it records you get 1080 to 60p. So yeah, 1080x 60p, right? So 1080 60p quality. Now keep your common FPS value as 60. Now hotkeys is totally different from whatever. That is how when you're recording what you want to use to record so you can put it on z x c v q w anything that will be easy and to end something like hashtag this astro astral thing sign or like any other key that's easy for you to click when you're recording now we're going to go to stream now from service whatever you use so if you use twitch uh you use youtube you use facebook which no one right facebook also but like if you use YouTube, set it to YouTube-YouTube Gaming, which is pretty simple. And if you use Twitch, put your server to tw service to Twitch. So I'm going to put it to YouTube because I use YouTube Gaming to live stream. Now your server as primary YouTube ingest server. So yeah, if you're live streaming, you would do exactly this. Now, your stream key would be on your live streams and don't share it to anyone because if someone gets your stream key, they can stream on your channel with the stream key. So never share your stream key with anyone. Now your output, now we're gonna come back here. Now remember your output mode as advanced, change it from, click this, from simple, change it to advanced because it's the best. Now come back to streaming. Now here what you would do is put your audio track to one, same as your recording, and encode it to X, encoder to X, 264. Now here, what I have done is same, a 1920 by 1080. Now your rate control, you wanna set that at CBR this time. Now there it was, I believe, VBR, and here you want to do CBR. Okay. Now here your bitrate. Now for this, cause streaming takes a lot of like it makes your gameplay so laggy. So you don't want your gameplay to be laggy. So put that as 10,000 kbps. So 10,000 bitrate. Now here keyframe at zero as usual, and your CPU usage preset. Now, don't put it as ultra fast, put it at very fast. If you have a really good computer, which, yeah, like really good PC, you would put it at ultra fast, which will be really good. Now, try to get hi the higher is less CPU. So, yeah, try to put it at very fast. Very fast is the best for you guys. So, yeah, this would be perfect for you all. So, yeah, and your encoder at X264. So, yeah, you can copy this if you want. You can also copy all of the exact things I have done. But remember, your video should, your base canvas and output would be different, not the same as me. Or if you have the exact same monitor as me, definitely it will be the same for you guys. Now, at this, you would have record, recording and audio and replay buffer. You can set audio whenever you want. You can do that yourself. It's pretty simple. And yeah, that's basically it. You should hopefully have now really good quality videos. Hopefully no lag. And if you have a bit of lag, um, you can try and go to recording and change your bitrate to uh, lower. So yeah, 5,000 to 10,000 max bitrate. So yeah, 5,000 bitrate uh, to max bitrate being 10,000. And you can check other videos if you want uh, for more great quality so yeah hopefully this video will be really helpful join my discord server and yeah comment down below if you have any problems i will help you out definitely so yeah if i can if and yes i will try to answer all the comments i can if possible so yeah meaning if there's one million like if there's 200 comments i'll try my best to answer all of them but it won't be the easiest and yeah hopefully this video is helpful to you guys so yeah, guys please subscribe and yet yeah, at the end don't forget to click apply just uh, don't forget to click apply and yeah apply close that and yet yeah, you should be perfect now yeah hopefully your quality is good now if you want to do one more feature this would be really helpful if you're recording roblox so yeah hopefully this is to help roblox streams click settings and put your graphic quality from the max like max means good shadow and everything put it to one so yeah put it like just one don't put it on automatic that won't be the best for you put it at manual now when it's at man i mean yeah when it's at manual you can set your 
graphic quality as high as you want, as low as you want. But automatic sets it as how they think, how the game thinks you would able to cook the game. So yeah, keep it as low as you want, and hopefully your lag should definitely go, and you would get the best quality in your videos. So yeah, guys, I wish you all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up because I work really hard on these videos to help you get the best experience out of this. And if you want more videos like this, comment down below what else videos would you like on the channel and I would make them for the future. So yeah, uh, how to edit, what editor I use, what I use to make thumbnails and what's the best thing to use for your thumbnails. So yeah guys, uh, hit the subscribe button and join my Discord server, link in the description and join my Roblox. Uh, group as well if you are new and yeah subscribe thumbs up and yeah that's it so yeah subscribe with the notification bell so you don't miss epic content like this and yeah i'm gonna end the video so yeah guys i wish you all enjoyed the video subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you all next time goodbye